What's good everyone? Chris the Star of the Show. Back with you for another video. What is going on YouTube? Hopefully everything is going good in your life. I am excited to be here. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this topic is very near and dear to my heart. You know, I've been talking to a lot of people, just giving like, you know, one-on-one -on -one session, counseling, some advice, and just seeing some things in my own life. And I am thoroughly afraid of the future. I'm thoroughly concerned about just what our society is heading to, especially when it comes to relationships, marriages, and families. I just feel like as we are getting older, I feel like society and culture are pushing us to be more individuals. I feel like they're pushing us to be, you know, really independent, you know, create this own life, create this own bubble, and family and marriages are just going to be, I think they're just going to decrease. I think there is not going to be a lot of them. I just think that people are going to create their own lives. I feel like people are going to have their families with their own way. They may just have their own kids, where it's just them and their kids, and just have partners when they want to. Uh, people are not going to want to have families. They may just have just a lover, and that's it. People don't want to have any exclusive relationship. They're just going to want to go and roam as they please. And to me, society as a whole to get better towards something positive, towards something really good that really glorifies God is to have really good, high character, high value people in families and in marriages. And those two things are decreasing. I am concerned about society. And, I, and today I'm going to give you three reasons or my top reasons why I feel like it's going in the wrong direction. Um, so hopefully this gets the conversation going and hopefully I can arc articulate this well. Cause like I said, man, this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. And, you know, I want people to really not let these three reasons be um, the main way that they make their decisions or be the 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 turning point of like, you know, what, I'm not going to get married or I'm not, I'm not going to get in a committed uh, long term relationship. You know, I want people to make, you know, sound decisions of themselves. And like I said, since the music, since society, since these bad teachers are really, you know, teaching these wrong things, I have to be the one on the other side to give, you know, like these examples of why you might should consider, you know, marriages and family. But I don't want you to let these three reasons be the determination that let you stop in, that's going to let you stop from pursuing those things. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. The first reason why I feel like marriages and family are going to disappear or going to decrease, whatever I want to call this video, is because of fear. I think fear is a huge factor. You know, and we can go with relationship first. I think people don't want to be hurt. People don't want to be vulnerable again. People don't want to be taken advantage of. You know, people don't want to be led on, led astray, you know just downright hurt and broken at the end. You know, it's a lot of horror stories. There's a lot of examples in their own lives. And since they had those experiences or heard about those experiences, they let fear dictate the outcome. Even though they may want a family, they may want to get married, may want to have a family one day. But the fear of something going wrong, the, the idea of something that will go wrong, uh, something that can go wrong, will go wrong, stops us from doing it. You know, the fear of rejection, the fear of putting yourself out there, the fear of, you know, trying love again and being heartbroken again, they don't want to go through it. So people just don't deal with it at all. They just avoid it. They create this, you know, this bubble or this antidote where it's like, you know, I can get enough of this area from something. I can play with my nieces. I'm cool with that. You know, that's all the experiences I can get from kids. Or if I want to take care of something, I just get a dog or a cat or a fish or whatever, and I'll take care of that, and that and that will be just like a kid. Or, you know, if I want love and affection for men and women, I will just get it when I want to. I use these dating gaps, or I go contact these old uh, clients or old people in my phone, and I just, you know, use that. So people just use fear from those experiences or what people say about them to really dictate their lives. And even to, you know, have families, you know, like I'm afraid I would be a bad father or I'm afraid I'd be a bad mother. I'm going to lead my kids astray. I don't want them to bring in, like bring my kids into this world. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. So to avoid all those things, I just won't have kids. Or I won't start a family because 
I have seen the divorce rates increase. Divorce are, is in my life. It's his presence in my life. I've seen it with my family. I've seen it with my friends. I don't want to go through it. So people use fear to not have the life that they want. And they, they you know, really trick their minds and say, hey, I am happy by having this unfulfilled life. You know, and, and that's the thing. I, I think people who live in fear are really not true, like are really not truly experiencing life. You know, they, they are literally letting those things control them. Fear is a controlling factor. And I think if you let fear control in one area of your life, it can control in all areas. You know, and, and like I said, if I let fear of me tearing my ACL again control me on the basketball court, then I feel like I can't take risks in business. I can't take risks in, in relationships. I can't take risks in other things because I'm fearful of that. I think fear in any aspect of your life would dictate and come through in every aspect. So wherever that fear is, you have to attack it, especially if it's something that you want. If you want to be married, if you want to have a family, you cannot let fear control your life. You have to put yourself out there. And so I think a lot of people are using that fear and not producing any families or marriages because they don't want to be hurt again or they don't want to hurt anybody else. The second reason why I feel like marriages and families are on a downward spiral is also there's a lot of bad teachers. There's a lot of bad teachers that are, are really teaching the wrong thing. And, and I feel like some of these influencers don't know the power and control that they have over their audience. You know, if you teach, whatever you say on this video, on camera, your audience would do in mass. So if you always projecting that men are bad or women are bad, people are going to put that in their mind and think those people are the reason why society is wrong. <laughs> those people are the reason why everything is not right in my life. Those are agents of destruction. So if you continue to preach that all men are evil, all men are cheaters, people are going to believe that. Women are going to believe that, and that's how they're going to move. They're going to expect their man to cheat, or they're not going to deal with men at all. You know, and, and teachers are not only these online influencers, but they're also your friends. They're also your family members. They could be your mother, could be your father. We have to understand what good and sound teaching is and not let these influencers, these bad teachers, really dictate our lives. If you let these teachers really influence you, it could go wrong. And I think a lot of people are getting led astray. A lot of people are getting led astray. You know, and, and I have to coach these men who talk about all, all women want to take advantage of me. They just want my money. They just want this. They just going to do me wrong. They're going to take and take and take. I'm like, what is going on in the world? Not all women are like that. And I hear from the women as well. All the men are cheaters. You know, they're going to do me wrong. They're going to they're going to leave me. They're going to get me pregnant. Gonna do that, and that, and that. I'm like, God dang. Like, where are you getting this from? Well, I heard this from here, and this is what this person says, and this is what my, my best friend said, and this is what she went through. All are bad teachers. We have to have the ability to use wisdom and discernment. Use wisdom and discernment when making sound decisions. Do not let other people influence you. You know, you have to really take in certain information, see how it applies to your life, and see if it works. Most of these teachers, including myself, we are not God. We are not the end all be all. We don't know everything. We do not know everything. So you cannot put your stock in all these people. We have to understand that their experiences, the way that they live life, shape their life, shape their form of thinking. Doesn't mean it's correct for you. So like I said, I think the, the, the bad influences, the bad teachers out there are not helped in the situation at all. They're bashing each other. Men are bashing women. Women are bashing men. Therefore, it's just this whole civil war that's happening right now. I just feel like we have to evaluate the information that's coming in. And then if we are influencer, and I think everybody is in certain extent. If you have people that you're speaking into or you have people you're walking in light with, walking this life with, trying to figure things out, we have to be cognizant and understand what we're saying to these people. We have to make sure that we're telling people what is best for they need to hear, not what we want them to hear, not how we want them to act. And it's a lot of responsibility that we have on these people's lives 
And it's just, and like I said, I feel it as well. Like I know that certain people listen to every word I say and they're going to do what I, I tell them to do. But if I abuse that power and point them in the wrong direction and they and their life ends up at chaos, I have responsibility in that. So I want to, I just want you all to understand that evaluate the teaching and you're teaching somebody, make sure you're telling them what they need to hear, not what you want them to hear, and make sure the, the advice is sound. Because the way this world is going, anybody can be an influencer nowadays. And like I said, it's a lot of consequences for bad advice that's going on around here. The third and final reason why I see families and marriages are really in trouble is bad communication and too high of expectations. I feel like the communication between the men and women are terrible. I feel like the expectations that we have of each other, especially via marriage, is also very bad. And I don't think that we understand exactly what we're getting ourselves into when we talk about marriage and when we're talking about families. And we have to learn to communicate well with our partner and com communicate well during dating, during the evaluation phase, and actually understand what kind of person that we need to be and also what kind of person that we need to have in our lives. And, and our expectation is so high. And, you know, you expect this kind of girl without putting the work in. You expect this kind of guy with, with you don't know what that guy wants, but you want him to just accept you. And they, ah, ah, ah. it's so much going on today. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, I would, I would read a text message from this girl from, from, I would read a text message to this girl from a guy, and she would interpret it all kinds of wrong. I'm like, that's not what he said. He didn't say that. He did not say, well, he meant this. I know he was. No, 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 no. He didn't say that. He didn't. And then, and then men expect to get the baddest woman in the world. How are you going to get the baddest woman in the world? You have to put the work in. Well, she should just, you should just like me for my character. She shouldn't have to like me for this. I'm like, what are we talking about? We're, what kind of world are we living in? The bad communication and too high of expectation from the other person is killing us. When we don't have clear communication and we have too high of expectation on top of no clear communication, it leads to downfall. It leads to depression. It leads to divorce. It leads to infidelity. It leads to unhappiness. It leads to depression. All of those things. If you cannot clearly communicate what you need and how you're going to give love to somebody and you expect the highest form of love compatibility for yourself, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. And I think all of those reasons are why it's going to be difficult in the future to see thriving marriages and families. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going on in my head. It's a lot going on in my life. I just see society, you know, going in a crazy direction right now. So, like I said, man, I think that bad communication and that too high of expectation is really killing a lot of people. And it's a, it's a huge letdown. And people, it's, it's easy to project that it's this person's fault with, Maybe it's just we wasn't clearly communicating enough. Our expectation was way too unrealistic. Like I said, I am deeply concerned about marriages and families in the future because of fear, because of the bad teaching out here, and also bad communication slash too high of expectations. You know, when you have the fear of getting hurt again or you hear these horror stories and you let that fear dictate your life, it can't control you and you let fear do that, you won't do anything. People just say stuck in this bubble and they cry to create this life that's not fulfilling, but they letting fear hold them back. And then also the bad teaching out here, like I said, it could be a YouTube influencer, it could be their family member, it could be your parents, it could be your friends that are teaching you the wrong things or projecting bad and negative energy into your life. This man is going to cheat. She's going to be a gold and she's going to take all your money. Therefore, you do nothing and you just think that all men are bad and all women are out to take advantage of you. And then you don't have clear communication with your partner, the person you're dating or whoever you're married to. And then on top of that, you have high expectations for this person. It leads to downfall. It leads to depression. It leads to divorce. It leads to infidelity. All these different things. 
And I am thoroughly concerned for the future. I'm thoroughly concerned for marriages and families. And I just see it as a decreasing asset and also also a devalue asset as well. It's not as valuable now. I don't see it as luxurious now. Maybe not with the generation of my generation and older, but these young kids, I am thoroughly concerned. I am thoroughly concerned. And like I said, I want to make this video to really give you the warnings. And like maybe this is something that has dictated my thought. Maybe I didn't let fear, you know, dictate something. Maybe I didn't let these influencers or a parent or a friend in my life really control the way I think. And also, I, I wasn't clear in my communication. I, I expect too much of this person, et cetera, et cetera. You know, that's why this video is created. You know, so as always, man, you know, the Roommates Podcast, the Roommates Community, we are all about leveling up, especially with these men, you know, spiritually, financially, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Um, so we have our Patreon where we have all level up courses where if you want to, you know, learn more about your identity, how can you heal, you know, character courses, finance courses, workout, and also it's other exclusive content on there. Sign up for Patreon because it's a community of men that are accountable, that are trying to get better every single day. Also, there's the manhood course if you need something, something a little bit more a little bit more punch in the gut, something more immediate. I think the manhood course is a sensational starting point as well so fellas we have tools uh, we have um these these courses to really get things started and get the ball rolling for a better life for you and for you to level up and be the guy that you want to be be the guy that we know you can be but you have to start somewhere this is chris the star of the show new podcast comes out every single week make sure you like share subscribe to our youtube channel sign up for patreon where you get all exclusive content and level up courses there make sure you share 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 I'll see you next week.